top 10 questions about Hamlet. Question 10. Is the ghost real? I'd say yes. The Kingdom of Denmark is so upside down that there has to have been a reason. Namely, the king was murdered. Also, everything the ghost says turns out to be true. 9. Is Hamlet crazy? No. He's really, really stressed by having to revenge his father's murder, and that adds a realistic edge to his act, but he's just pretending to be crazy. 8. Is Ophelia crazy? Oh yes. She was fragile, and losing Hamlet's love and her father's life snapped her mind. 7. Who is Yorick? Yorick had been the old king's jester. Hamlet finds his skull when Ophelia's grave is getting dug, and this makes him think about life and how short it is. 6. What does Gertrude know? To be honest, I don't think she knows that Claudius killed her husband. However, she marries him too fast for there not to have been something going on, even if it was just desire for her husband's brother or being realistic about needing a power position. 5. What does the stuff that the players say have to do with the larger play? On the symbolic level, they're all playing just as everyone at court is pretending. On the thematic level, their plays are about kings and queens dying and or killing. They are mirrors to the larger play, and warnings about how people should act. 4. Why does Claudius send Hamlet away? He doesn't want to kill Hamlet openly because his wife and the common people love Hamlet. Dramatically speaking, Hamlet's being sent to England allows us to glimpse him in better circumstances. He can be really effective when he's not trapped in an impossible situation. 3. Why does Hamlet have those long speeches? Those speeches, called soliloquies, are a theatrical convention. Think of them as getting a chance to read Hamlet's mind, especially when he's emotionally upset. 2. Why doesn't Hamlet just get on with it and kill Claudius? This is at the heart of the play, and one of the reasons it's so suspenseful. Early on, he doesn't kill Claudius because he doubts the ghost and wants to confirm Claudius's guilt. Later, he doesn't kill Claudius because he doubts again, fearing he'll send a praying murderer to heaven. Throughout, he's hamstrung by the promise he swore to not let the revenge spill over onto his mother, and by the promise to never mention that he saw the ghost. And the number one question about Hamlet is, if to be or not to be is the question, what's the answer? The answer is to be, but to be reluctantly. That means, Hamlet says, life hurts so much we might as well kill ourselves, but in the end we don't because we're afraid that what happens after death might be worse. And that, to paraphrase the dead prince, makes cowards of us all, including you and me. Now that's a classic.